Kratos had traversed the desert of lost souls, bested the deadly traps of Pandora's temple, and escaped Hades itself. There was but one task left. After thousands of years, Pandora's box was finally open. The power of the gods unleashed. The nightmares that have haunted Kratos for the past ten years have not taken full and then substance. His past stood before him. Kratos had done the impossible. He had saved his family. The battle was not over. The gods had sent a final gift for Kratos. Kratos had done the impossible. A mortal defeating a god. Ours was no more. The city had been saved and would thrive again. The same could not be said for Kratos. Or as he sought to reveal his soul, with the help of the gods, the truth was revealed to him. In the end, knowing that the visions of his past would never leave him, Kratos made his way to the bluffs, overlocking the Aegean Sea. The fate of Kratos was not as it seemed. The gods had other plans. Broaden off like a feather. Kratos found himself rising from the sea, and placed on solid earth. And from that point forward, throughout the rest of time, whenever men rode forth to battle for good chaos or for evil, they did so under the watchful eye of the man who had defeated a god. They were driven forward by Kratos, the mortal who had become the new god of war.